What's up everyone? We're going to continue exploring uh, layer 2 attacks using Yarsinia on Kali Linux. And for this scenario, uh, I have deployed uh, R1 uh, with different networks. And those networks, they are encapsulated inside specific VLANs. So we have three networks. Uh, we have uh, cells that's sitting on 192.168.13 and that's going to be using VLAN 3 and we have finance on network 192.168.14 with VLAN 4 and for guest access we have 192.168.13 and on VLAN 13 uh, guest network, the IP address will be using DHCP pool. As for sales and finance, the IP address is static. And the devices on this network, uh, they don't have visibility to other networks, which means they don't have default gateway configured. So they can only talk with the router. And what we're going to do is from um, the guest access network that we know to post to reach other networks we're going to perform a VLAN hopping attack and we'll be able to access uh, router 3 and router 4 uh, from uh, the ports uh, that we will be connected on the switch so let's take a quick look at R1 configuration so I configured the interface as uh, sub-interfaces uh, using router on stick. Uh, instead of configuring multiple links, I'm just using a single link for that. And R1 should be able to reach 133 and 144. And the guess be running 30.5 yes 30.5 yeah but they can't reach uh, other networks so yes so let me show the routing table let's get simple so they are they they're just on this network and they don't have visibility to other networks and they only talk with the router so on the switch what we have here is the interface where uh, the router router one is connected is a trunk port and the other ones are just access ports okay and they have access to those specific vlans so let's see how to perform this attack on kali linux um, so we're going to bring uh your senior and what we want to do is to look at DTP negotiation. Uh, DTP is the protocol responsible for negotiating uh, trunking between switches. So that stands for dynamic trunking protocol. Dynamic trunking protocol. We know for a fact that the port can be negotiated to trunk when the other side of the port is uh, explicitly configured as trunk uh, or when it's configured as dynamic desirable so in this case we see that we already received DTP message on the port and on the other side by default the port is configured as auto which means uh, it right now is enabled as an access port but it's can accept negotiate to trunk port and that's what we're going to take advantage of so if i bring the switch terminal and we look at e3 so we see this is dynamic auto right now is running as the access port and it's uh it can negotiate to trunk and negotiation of trunking is on Okay, so let's perform the attack. We're going to launch the attack and we want to enable trunking. And this is the DTP attack we're going to perform. 
and right now the port negotiated to Trump which means that now the switch is sending traffic from other VLANs on this port as well and we can confirm that if we run show interface trunk now we have two trunk ports and this is the one that connects to uh to the to kali to the attacker pc okay so now this is a trunk port uh so let's place this computer on the same network as sales and finance network so bring the terminal and we're going to use vconfig and we're going to add uh so let me show my current interface right now so we only have e0 and that's my current network so we're going to add uh on this interface two new sub interfaces vconfig is for three and four and uh, let's enable uh if uh, is zero three that's the logical interface and the sub interface and the ip we're going to choose we already know um the vlan and network uh we want to attack so it's one nine two one six eight uh, thirteen and we're going to choose five and that mass is going to be uh, slash 24 and going to enable the interface and we're going to do the same for 1.4 and sub interface or VLAN it's 4 now if we look again the interfaces you can see that now we have uh, the network 192.168.13 and 14 now if I try to ping uh, 13.3 I'm able to, to do so and if I try to reach to 14.4 I'm able to do so as well you can see we took advantage of the fact that the switch is dynamically uh, negotiating or uh, allowed to negotiate ranking okay so Let's see how to prevent that from happening. So right now, uh, if we look, the switch right now is in tracking mode. Okay, and negotiation of tracking is still enabled. So to prevent that from happening, uh, let's first post the, cancel the attack. So list of attacks, TTP tracking. Okay, so what we want to do is to expand explicitly configure the ports where end users will be connected as access ports that's the first thing we have to do so we look e03 right now we only said okay you're allowed to access this vlan but that's not enough so we're going to do the same for all access ports and i'm going to run this macro so what it's going to do is to explicitly enable the ports as access port and additionally is going to enable a uh, port first on the port what we want to do as well is to disable dtp negotiation so track negotiation should be disabled and we know that two switches to establish tracking they have to agree on native vlan so Cisco recommends to use uh, as a native VLAN uh, one VLAN that is not being used on the network. So uh, we're going to create VLAN 988 and we're going to assign this VLAN as native VLAN. So switch port, rank it native VLAN. 88 yeah, this is that so if i look now i have vlan 88 and we look at e3 uh switch port status so negotiation of tracking it's off 
and right now it's state access and operational mode is state access so let's try to launch the attack again and see if it changes so let me launch the attack dtp let's try to enable tracking and we get the message that right now the port is accessed and trunk negotiation is off so we won't be able to establish tracking now and if we try to reach the same host we are unable to do so because right now we are sitting just on the vlan that we're supposed to and the same should be true for 13.3 and let's see if at least we can access guest network okay i can reach myself and i can reach uh my router and that's the only access and that's the only part of the network that i have access to so that's it guys uh we saw how to perform vlan hopping attack and how to prevent it i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one